Let's examine how we can use a data validation drop-down list of friendly website names to select a name and display the site information as a QR code. We'll begin by first examining the website that's going to generate these QR codes for us and place them in our Excel workbook. Next, we'll create a lookup table that will have the website's friendly name, its website address, and then a place to store the generated QR codes from the Step 1 website. We'll use a data validation drop-down list to let the user choose from a list of friendly website names, but then incorporate a lookup function to take that user selection, find it in the lookup table, and bring back the QR code. Lastly, we'll use the Picture in Cell Preview feature to take the QR code discovered by Step 4 and display it in a different location in our workbook. Be sure to download the starter file and the solution file from the link in the video description. This way you can follow along and build this solution with me, or just use the solution file to see how I performed each of these operations. The key to all of this working properly is by using a website. That website being api.qrserver.com. Now here's the URL that you'll need, but it does require some modification. If you use it as is, all we have to do is append to the end of this the website address. So if you were wishing to go to the website www.bcti.com, you would just take these two pieces and concatenate them, thus creating the following URL. One other thing that you could consider adjusting are these values here that indicate the resolution of the output image. A 400 by 400 pixel image tends to render quite well. You can lower these values to see how it lowers the resolution, but the larger the value, the better the quality. I found that anything over 400 by 400 tends to be a bit redundant, as it's very difficult for the naked eye to even notice any difference. But if you drop these values below 100, you will notice a significant loss in quality. If you place that concatenated URL inside of an image function in Excel, what you'll get is a QR code. So if I went up here and changed this from bcti.com to microsoft.com, we get a very different QR code. So going back and forth, you can see the difference between these two website codes. We're going to make this dynamic so the user can either pick from a list of existing URLs or type in their own website URL. So let's start the project. We'll begin with step one, hard coding all the qrserver.com web information into a cell so we don't have to retype it, we can just reference it. So here's everything in the qrserver.com website address that's not going to change. Next, we create a table of websites. This table will consist of the friendly name of the website, this will be used in data validation dropdown, along with the actual underlying HTTPS website address. Step three will be to create the data validation dropdown list of the user-friendly site names. So we'll go to this cell here, this is where we're gonna put our dropdown, and we'll go up to data, data validation, and we'll validate from a list. The source of that list, I'll select the site name field from the table, hit OK, and now we have a dropdown list of friendly site names. Now we'd also like to give the user to be able to type in a site name if it doesn't appear in this list and they want the QR code for it. So with this cell selected, we'll go back to data, data validation, and on the error alert page, we will turn off error checking. This way the user can type in anything they want and if it's not in the list, it won't flag as a mistake. Hit OK. So now I can go to the dropdown and I can choose the electric boogie woogie. I never thought I'd say that in a video, but now we need to somehow turn that into the QR code. This is what the QR code column the table will be used for. We're going to use the image function to take this qrserver.com URL, concatenate it to the website, and produce the QR code and store it in these cells. Now instead of having ugly cell addresses, I've taken this cell A4 that holds this URL and I've named it QR underscore site. The name of this table is called site table. I like to use friendly names in my formulas whenever possible. So let's begin by using an image function. We'll point to cell A4, which is the QR site, and we'll concatenate that to the current rows website field. Since this is a proper table, we don't see B11, we see bracket at website bracket because proper tables use structured references. Close parentheses, hit enter, and now we have all the QR codes. So by taking the hard-coded qrserver.com URL and concatenating it to the website, we get the QR code. Now these QR codes are rather small, plus we only want to see one of them at a time. We never want to see the whole list. So this is where we're going to write a lookup function that's going to take the user selection from cell G11, find that user selection in the site name column of the site table, and return the QR code. So therefore there will only be one displayed QR code at a time. So in cell E11, we'll start with equals and we're going to use an XLOOKUP function. We'll take whatever the user selected in cell G11, we'll locate that in the site name field of the site table, and we'll return whatever's in the QR code field of the site table. 
I don't require any further arguments because I'm accepting the defaults for everything after this. So we'll close parentheses and hit enter. And if you look really closely, we can see the QR code for Electric Boogie Woogie. If we go to the dropdown and change this to Koalas to the Max, that selection has changed. Again, look really closely. I'll choose Pointer Pointer. It's changed. I'll choose Staggering Beauty, changed again. Now I might wish to show this selected QR code in a completely different location, maybe in another sheet. So here's what we'll do. We'll go to the cell that shows the derived QR code, right click on it, and in the Picture in Cell feature, choose Create Reference. This creates a floating image of that QR code. We can make it as large as we want. We can place it anywhere in the workbook we need to. So I'll just go ahead and place this right here next to my dropdown. We go to the dropdown, choose Long Doge Challenge, we get a QR code. If I choose Zombie Passions, a different QR code. So this image file can then be placed anywhere. You can put this on a different sheet and have this as part of a dashboard. So to recap, here are the two formulas I created. The image function used to generate the QR codes in the table and the XLOOKUP function to take the user's selection located in the lookup table and return the QR code as an isolated object. But remember I said I'd like to also give the user the ability to type in any website address they want and generate the QR code. So if we were to go into the data validation dropdown and instead of picking from a list, type something in like www.microsoft.com, hit enter, and we get an error. Now it's not that microsoft.com is incorrect, but think about it. We're trying to find microsoft.com in that site table table and microsoft.com does not exist in that table. So what we need to do is go into the lookup function and make this a little smarter. So let's extend our formula bar and take our X lookup and wrap it inside of an if error function. So if it's an error when the user types in their own site address, which it will be, we'll use the image function to take the reference to the qrserver.com website and concatenate that to whatever the user typed in the cell dropdown. In this case, it's cell G11. Close parentheses for the image function, close parentheses for the if error. And now we've given the user the ability to type in whatever they want. So if you want to go to www.abc.com, there's the QR code for it. If you want to go to www.youtube.com, there's the QR code. So we can either select from a pre-selected list or just type in whatever we want. So that's how we can use a creative website to take a URL and turn it into a QR code. With a little help from XLOOKUP, the image function, some concatenation, and the preview feature of Picture and Cell, we can create on-demand QR codes from either items in a drop-down list with data validation or just allow the user to type in whatever they want. Make sure you download this file from the link in the video description so you can see how everything was built. And if you can think of some other creative ways to use this, put it down in the comments. Thank you for watching. And remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.